TSMC, which is the biggest there is at a level that can't even calculate. Very historic announcement. This is a tremendous thing for our country. TSMC is getting more than $11 billion in federal assistance to build three manufacturing fabs in Phoenix. For decades, the world's most advanced computer chips have been produced in one place, Taiwan. But that's beginning to change. Today, the global leader in chip manufacturing, TSMC, is bringing cutting-edge semiconductor technology to the United States. And Apple is leading the charge. What does this mean for tech, for America, and for you? Trump has a plan, and he won to win this chip battle against China and Xi Jinping. We will talk about it. But let's start off with TSMC, or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, is the world's largest and most advanced chip maker. They manufacture chips for tech giants like Apple, AMD, NVIDIA, and honestly, probably the device you're using to watch this video. But there's a catch. TSMC's most advanced fabs are concentrated in Taiwan, a region that sits at the epicenter of rising geopolitical tensions. With global demand for chips exploding and recent shortages disrupting everything from smartphones to cars, the world's reliance on Taiwan has become a strategic vulnerability. The construction site in Arizona isn't just another tech project. It's a modern day industrial marvel. Located in the northern suburbs of Phoenix, this site spans hundreds of acres. What was once desert scrubland is now home to one of the most ambitious construction efforts in U.S. tech history. Massive cranes tower over the site as thousands of workers operate around the clock, piecing together what will soon become two of the most advanced semiconductor fabrication plants in the world. The scale is staggering. Each fab requires ultra-clean environments, known as clean rooms, that are over 10,000 times cleaner than a hospital operating room. Even the slightest speck of dust can ruin an entire batch of chips. To support the fabs, the site includes new power substations, water treatment facilities, and even custom-built roads and transportation links. These aren't just factories, they're entire ecosystems. Over 12,000 construction workers are on-site daily, laying miles of underground piping and wiring, the coordination effort is enormous. Every component must meet nanometer level tolerances to support the extreme precision of chip production. Inside the fabs, advanced lithography machines, each costing over $150 million, will etch circuits onto wafers at scales smaller than a virus. These machines are shipped from the Netherlands, carefully transported across the world, and lowered into place with millimeter level accuracy. But the desert isn't easy on high-tech dreams. Arizona's intense summer heat presents logistical challenges, especially for temperature-sensitive equipment. Supply chain delays and competition for building materials have added to the pressure. Water, a critical ingredient in chip production, is also a growing concern. Semiconductor fabs consume millions of gallons of ultra-pure water per day. To address this, TSMC is building on-site water recycling facilities to minimize the environmental impact and ease local concerns over water use in a drought-prone state. To meet the demand for talent, Arizona universities and community colleges are ramping up semiconductor training programs. Local governments are partnering with TSMC to launch workforce pipelines, apprenticeship programs, and STEM initiatives in public schools. This isn't just about chips. It's about building a new generation of American engineers. And while TSMC is leading the project, Dozens of American companies are involved, from construction firms to engineering consultants to logistics providers. This project is more than just foreign investment. It's a public-private alliance. When completed, these fabs will produce chips using the four nanometer process and later three nanometer tech used in everything from smartphones to fighter jets. In many ways, the Arizona site is a beacon, a symbol of what's possible when technology, policy, and vision align. A future where the U.S. isn't just designing chips, but making them on its own soil. And while it may take years for these fabs to reach full production, the construction underway today is laying the foundation for a new era. One where America aims not just to participate in the chip race, but to lead it. All of this is happening against the backdrop of a broader tech Cold War. The U.S. and China are locked in a battle for semiconductor supremacy. Chips aren't just powering our gadgets, they're powering economies, militaries, and AI breakthroughs. In response to China's aggressive push to build its own chip industry, 
the U.S. has tightened export controls, cut off access to advanced U.S.-made tools, and pressured allies like the Netherlands and Japan to limit what equipment can be sold to Chinese fabs. China, meanwhile, is doubling down, investing over $100 billion in domestic chip production, pouring resources into homegrown companies like CMIC, and working relentlessly to close the technology gap. This isn't just industrial policy. It's geopolitical chess, and chips are the queens on the board. Apple played a huge role in making this happen. TSMC's Arizona Fabs will initially produce 4 nanometer chips, the same kind powering the iPhone 15 and the latest Macs. But by 2024, the facility aims to produce next-gen 3 nanometer chips, pushing performance and energy efficiency even further. For Apple, it's about more than chips. It's about supply chain security, environmental goals, and a firm stance in the global tech rivalry. So why does this fab matter? Let's break it down. Supply chain resilience. The 2020-2021 chip crisis showed how vulnerable the world is to supply shocks. A US-based fab means fewer delays and more stability during global disruptions. National security. Advanced chips are at the core of modern defense systems. Having a secure domestic source is critical to reducing strategic risks. Economic growth. The Arizona facility will create thousands of high-paying tech jobs and help America rebuild a crucial industry. But it's not all smooth sailing. Manufacturing chips in the US is expensive. Labor, utilities, and regulatory compliance all cost more than in Taiwan. And there's a talent gap. Semiconductor fabrication demands a highly skilled workforce. And right now, the US is racing to train and recruit enough engineers to keep up. The Arizona Fab is a symbol of innovation, of competition, of a new global tech order. For Apple, it's about keeping its edge. For the US, it's about reclaiming sovereignty over a technology that's becoming as fundamental as electricity. And for the world, it's a preview of the next era. We're entering a future where nations will rise or fall based on their ability to design and manufacture semiconductors. As the US builds fabs and forges new alliances, and as China accelerates its own tech ambitions, we may see new breakthroughs. AI that runs faster and smarter. Quantum computers that defy the laws of physics. Devices we haven't even imagined yet. But the big question remains. Will this chip arms race lead to a tech renaissance or deepen the divisions between global powers? So what do you think? Is the TSMC Arizona Fab a fix for the chip crisis? A milestone in American innovation or just the opening move in a much larger tech showdown? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, 